welcome back to another video today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my 10 most rarest Pokemon these aren't necessarily my best Pokemon these are my rarest Pokemon in terms of which ones that I found a lot and which ones I haven't found a lot and obviously these ones are gonna be the ones that I haven't found a lot of but I found at least one of so that's what we're gonna be looking at today but just really quickly I'm gonna be bringing my second channel and my Twitch channel into action. So if you guys want to watch me on my second channel and my Twitch channel, there's going to be links in the description and probably annotations or cards up on the screen as well. So be sure to get involved. I want to know from you guys what your rarest Pokemon is in the comment section down below. And whoever has the rarest Pokemon, I'm going to shout them out in the next video and link you down below in the description box as well. But I think it's time to jump into the video and see my 10 rarest Pokemon. So first up, we have Abra. Now, I do have 31 candies for this little guy. That's why he's number one or number 10, depending on how you look at it. But he is the first Pokemon that we're gonna be looking at today. Now, Abra obviously turns into Kadabra and then Kadabra into Alakazam. Now, the reason why this comes in at number 10, purely because I have a few of them, but I don't have quite enough to start evolving. And I really wanna get Alakazam. That Pokemon is an incredible Pokemon that I haven't seen anybody with. I've not seen anybody with an Alakazam. Now, if you guys know an, anyone with an Alakazam or have an Alakazam yourself, tweet me a picture of it and I'll shout you out in the next video as well. My Twitter's in the description. But honestly, Abra, he, he's like a very basic Pokemon, like any first sort of like tier of the three evolutions. Very basic Pokemon, get stronger as they go along. And Abra can't do much, like he literally can't do much. The one we have now is only 120 CP, and I think I found him when I first started playing Pokemon Go. And obviously like, you know, him being his, in the first stage of evolution, he has such a long way to go. And I feel like that there's not enough Abras in the world to get an Alakazam because I've literally found like five Abras or maybe even less than that. I'm not too sure. But he comes in at our number 10 spot. I wish that I can get an Alakazam. If I do, I will make a video on that for you guys because I know that because not a lot of people have that Pokemon, a lot of people will be interested in seeing that video. The next Pokemon is Lickitung. Now, what a random Pokemon this guy is. Now, as you can see, I only have 15 candies for this dude here. I haven't caught very many of these at all. Now, down the road from me, I, they were spawning when Pokemon Go first came out. But since like the update and the whole switch around sort of thing has happened, I literally haven't seen them anywhere. Like, absolutely anywhere. I've been out and about on my travels quite a few times, and I have not seen Lickitung in London for like six weeks now. So he comes in at number nine or number two, depending on what way you look at it. And to be honest, guys, like... I, I don't know if he's a good Pokemon. I don't think he is a good Pokemon in terms of battling in the gyms. But nonetheless, you got to catch him to get them all. And that's why he comes in at number nine. And again, like, I don't know if I'll end up using him in a gym in a battle. And I, I, like, I mean, if I get a higher level one, cool, I get a higher level one. But I don't think he's that much of a strong Pokemon. I don't know what if IVs are like, but... He's in at number nine. So we start getting a little bit more exciting with your boy Voltorb. I love this Pokemon. I literally love this Pokemon. I love the concept of him. He almost is like a Pokeball. You've got to catch him in a Pokeball. It's like getting a Pokeball in a Pokeball. But he, he has a character. He literally has a face. He's electronic. And I have 42 candies for this guy to transform him. To transform him? What? To evolve him into an Electrode, or is it Electro Dude? I forget how to pronounce that Pokemon, but yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about, to evolve into him. Now that's when it starts getting exciting, because I, I've seen a quite, I've seen a few of these, like more than Lickitung and the Abras, probably put together actually, but not quite enough to end up evolving him into his evolution. Now the reason why he comes in at number eight is because I've seen him a couple of times around, you know, like I, I have seen him a few times, but not enough to evolve him. And I think, I wanna say, this Pokemon, once he's evolved, is a fairly decent Pokemon in terms of battling. And I want to know from you guys, do you have an Electrode or an Electrode dude? I think it's Electrode. I think it is Electrode. Do you have one? And is he good? Because if he is, I'm going to make a video, if you guys want it, on me getting Voltorb's evolution and uploading it here on the freaking channel. Then we got an interesting Pokemon. We got a Diglin. Now, I've seen a few people with these, but I have only caught a few of them. 
Now, I haven't seen, like I said, I've seen a few people with them. I have 44 candies. Diglett is coming in at number seven. Now, he obviously evolves into Doug Trio, but I don't have enough to get him. He's not, Diglett's not a very good Pokemon. I don't think Doug Trio is either in terms of battling in the gym and things like that, or even battling, I don't know, like later on, if they add in where like I could battle my Ike, so I could battle my brother, or I could battle Grace in terms of like one on one battles, and you know, maybe you could take their coins or you could take some of their Pokemons. I don't know. But in terms of battling, I don't think Diglett or Doug Trio is a good Pokemon. So he's by any means, like by no means at all, is he one of my best Pokemon. But I haven't found that many of them. I think I've only, one, I want to say like I found like 10. Or like, yeah, like maybe like 10, 10 of them. And, uh, you know, Pokemon Go has been out for almost three months now, I want to say. And to, to not have that many of, of one Pokemon, but you have caught them, just shows that like they are rare. They're scattered around here and there, but there's no nests. There's no frequent spawns of them. They don't spawn in one place. Because if they did, I would have gone back and got them to get the evolution. Now... I want to know from you guys, would you like me to do a video where I show you my 10 best Pokemon? Like my 10 strongest Pokemon that I'm going to use for battles? Let me know in the comments section if you do. But, Diglett is at number 7. Then we have your boy Onyx and this is where it starts getting a little bit more exciting. Because Onyx, again, I don't think he's a very good Pokemon to, in terms of like battling. But, I have 11 candies for this dude, so I can power him up a little bit. We have a 511 Onyx. He's, he's not bad, you know. He, he's a fairly decent sized, or fairly decent CP Onyx. But, at the end of the day, he's not the best. He's not the best Pokemon, but he's one of our rarest. We've only caught, I think, three or four of these guys. So, he's coming in at number six, purely because of that reason. Like, just that one damn reason. You guys might have a ton of them, but I don't. Remember, this is my top 10 rarest Pokemon, not like the top 10 rarest Pokemon in Pokemon Go. Like, this is just my personal top 10 rarest Pokemon. And Onyx has got that number 6 spot, man. Again, you know, he, in terms of battling, he's not going to be a Pokemon I'm going to be using. Then we have this foxy little character here, Vulpix. This thing here. Again, I've seen a few of them. We have 11, uh, 10 candies, sorry. I just looked down at the phone. 10 candies for Vulpix. Vulpix obviously evolves into Ninetales. And... I don't think I'm going to be getting Nine Towers anytime soon, man. I've seen people with it. Again, I've seen people with it. I've seen people tons of all picks. But I remember one of my one of my buddies is a FIFA YouTuber tweeted me said like I haven't seen a all picks anywhere. I think I got my first one out of an egg, and then I caught another two. I think that's how it went down. I think it did. But. Volpix gets the number five spot, man. You know, the, the, these are scattered around. They're not everywhere. There's not a nest for them. They're literally just here and there. I don't know if Ninetales is a very good Pokemon. I believe it is an average Pokemon, an average fire Pokemon at least. I think it is a little bit less powerful than an Arcanine, which is sort of like another dog type fire Pokemon, if that makes any sense at all, like a cat fire type Pokemon. What is Arcanine, a cat or a dog? I don't even know. But yeah. Volpix has the number five spot. I know you guys probably have tons of them, but I don't. I've, I've only seen a few of them around, man. Then we have this weird looking dude, an Omanite. My, look, look, you know what? I'm just gonna hold my phone up to look at this, right? Look at that. I don't, like, what is that, man? Literally, Omanite, we have six candies for this Pokemon. I've caught three. That's how many, I caught one on a lure. Then I caught two whilst I was out hunting Bulbasaur. I believe that's how I've done it. But literally, right, this Pokemon is weird. This Pokemon is not a good Pokemon for battling. It's just there to collect. That is it. I don't even know if the evolution of Omanyte is a good Pokemon. I don't think it is because I don't see anybody with it. If it was, if, if Omanyte was a good Pokemon or his evolution was a good Pokemon, everyone would have them because everyone would be out searching for them. So I don't think Omanyte is a good Pokemon. I think it's just an average Pokemon, just one to collect, one to add in. And he, he takes our number four spot because of that reason. Because he's you don't find them anywhere. Like, there's like I don't know. I go near water, like a big lake. I don't, I, don't, I don't catch them. I go in the middle of a park. I catch it. So I don't know if you have to go to the water to catch it or if you have to go to the park. I'd assume you have to go to the water. Because whenever I go to the water, I get loads of magic cups, loads of uh, goldines and polywax and slow pokes and starmies. Oh, sorry, star use things like that. So I, I'd assume that this dude here is a water Pokemon, but yet we don't find him at the water. I've never found one of these dudes 
out of water. Then we have probably one of the weirdest Pokemon in this freaking video. A Mr. Mime. I only have one of these guys. You can see I've got three candies. Now, literally, right, I was out and about. Let me tell you this story. I was out and about. I was hunting Eevees, actually. And Grace and I, we was in Central London in Bayswater. And I checked on the nearby list. Boom. And a Mr. Mime popped up. We was hunting for this guy for a freaking long time, right? Didn't end up catching it. I went literally 10 minutes down the road when I wasn't recording to a place called Wimbledon and one freaking popped up there. And I was like, yo, I'm out and about central London. My dude pops up, I can't find him. I go to my local town and he's there. But Mr. Mime gets the number three spot purely because he is the EU Pokemon. You can only get him in Europe. You can't get him anywhere else in the world other than in X. So he comes in at number three because we have one of them and probably He's, I don't know, like, if he, he's not, again, not another good Pokemon. He's probably not the best Pokemon. And I don't think we're ever going to put him in a gym or have a battle with him or anything like that. Purely because of that reason. He is just one to collect. He's a region-type Pokemon. I believe it is Mr. Mime, Kangaskhan, and I've just forgotten the US version of what it is. Kangaskhan is in Australasia. Mr. Mime is in Europe. And Toro, Toro or Tauros is the US one. Boom, we got it. Then at number nine, we have Aerodactyl. We've only got one of these. Now this is like a fossil type Pokemon, I believe. But we only have one of these guys, man. Like he literally, again, actually in fact, I walked down the road, down where I live, to the shops. Literally, bing, wasn't recording. This is the Pokemon that I wanted to catch on camera for you guys. Boom, he just pops up. Boom, Aerodactyl, just there, right in my face. And I'm just like, man. I don't want to let this Pokemon go because obviously I want to record it for you guys. But he is literally just popped up in my local town. I had to catch him. He's not a very good CP. He's only got a 340 CP. So he's definitely not a very good CP. But at the end of the day, I was just like, man, why did he have to pop up when I'm not freaking recording, man? I had my iPhone with me. I wasn't even using the Samsung, which I used to record at that time. And... I, I was just like, damn, man, I wanted to get this on camera, I wanted the guys to see this, I wanted the ice to see this, but Aerodactyl 340 CP comes in at number 9. Now, just quickly, can any of you guys guess? I bet nobody gets this. I bet nobody freaking gets this. If somebody gets this right, it is going to be a madness. Can you guess what my number 10 or my number 1 most rarest Pokemon is? If you can... That would be absolutely insane. I'm going to give you guys a couple of seconds to just comment down below what that is. But what I'm going to do is if you guys do want to watch me live streaming, I'm going to live stream right now. When this video is up, I'm going to be live streaming right now, either on Twitch or my second channel. They're going to be linked in the description. So follow both of them if you want more of me. We're going to be doing that right now. You've had enough time to comment down what you think my number one most rarest Pokemon is. Dun, dun, dun. And it is your boy Kaputops. We've only got one of these. We've only got one of these. We caught him off camera again. Like the last three Pokemon. The last two Pokemon. We caught him off camera. And or the last three Pokemon were caught off camera. And that's probably why they're the rarest. Because whenever I go out hunting for Pokemon. I never get like a Cypher or a Snorlax. But you know like as much as I want you guys to see them on camera. I'm never recording when these rare Pokemon are popping up for me. So do I stop? catching them to catch them on camera. I don't know what to do. Let me know what you think I should do about Kabutops. Literally, I've not seen anyone with this Pokemon. Like, no other YouTuber. I've not seen anyone with this Pokemon. You guys have it. Tweet me a picture of it, man. Let me know if you have this freaking thing. But I've only caught one. We have three candies. But we got an over 1,200 CP Kabutops for the first one we ever caught. That is not freaking bad at all. But guys, that is my top 10 rarest Pokemon that I have and I want to do a top 10 best powerful most powerful or whatever Pokemon for you guys if you want to see that let me know in the comments down below but thank you all for watching you guys have been awesome thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in another video soon